Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, and here are the announcements for today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Well, we don't have anyone celebrating a birthday today, so let's get to recognizing our first, second, and third grade students of the month who showed responsibility. First up, we have Jaslyn Barredo from Miss Rosello's class. Jaslyn is a wonderful student who puts forth maximum effort in achieving academic success in class. As I teach a lesson, Jaslyn is busy taking notes and writing down words used to practice with during language arts, even when she doesn't have to. She completes all her assignments in a timely manner, always raises her hand and waits her turn to ask questions during a lesson. Jaslyn is a great example of a responsible student and makes a great candidate for October Student of the Month. Way to go, Jaslyn. Next, we have Helen Lima from Ms. Rosello's class, nominated by Ms. Calderon. Helen is always eager and excited to begin the day in my class. She comes prepared with her materials and always participates in class. Also, she completes all her assignments and is very polite in class with her classmates. It is a pleasure to have Helen in class. Next, we have Brandon Cabrera, nominated by Ms. Monroe. Brandon demonstrates qualities of a responsible student. He puts forth maximum effort, is eager to learn, and works hard with all our new challenges this year. He's also willing to assist and encourage his classmates. I'm grateful to have him in my class. Congratulations, Brandon. Next, we have Lucas Valera from Ms. Heaston's class. Lucas is a very responsible student. He is always prepared for class and puts forth maximum effort in his classwork and home learning. He is a super sweet and caring student. He is always very kind and helpful in class. Lucas goes out of his way to greet his teacher and classmates and make sure everyone is happy. He is an excellent example of a responsible student. It's a pleasure to have him in our one first, second grade gifted combo class. Next up, we have Tristan Gonzalez from Ms. Rubio's class. Tristan has demonstrated responsibility since day one. I just love the way he is always asking to make sure we're doing it right. I think it also helps that he has a great assistance mom on his side too. Keep being responsible, Tristan. I am honored to have you in our class. Next, we have Camila Apontevera from Ms. Savin Baker's class. Camila is a responsible student who does her best all the time. She completes all her online assignments with little or no help. Camila is willing to troubleshoot any and all difficult situ technical difficulties because she does not want to be left out of class participation. Camila is a pleasure to have in class. Next up, we have Isabella Linares from Ms. Savin Baker's class nominated by Ms. Hernandez. Isabella has been an exemplary responsible student. Her enthusiasm for school is beyond the stars. She lightens the room as she walks in. Her motivation is contagious and I am so proud to be her reading writing teacher. Congratulations, Isabella. Next we have Julieta Bravo Sosa from Ms. Gomez's class. For the little amount of time I have had Julieta, she has been very responsible. When we were online, she was always on time, even a little early. She would do her work nice and neat, and she knew what to do if she finished before the rest of the class. Her homework has always been done right and neatly. I am very proud to have her in my class. Great job, Juliet. Keep it up. Next, we have Sophia Cordero from Miss Monroe's class, nominated by our art teacher, Miss Perez. Sophia is a very responsible student. She is always prepared for class. Sophia puts forth her maximum effort into all her projects. When she misses class due to a Zoom issues, she makes sure to check in with me to not fall behind. You're an excellent example of a responsible student. Keep it up, Sophia. Next up, we have Brandon Jansen 
from Ms. Sanchez and Ms. Medina's group, group, nominating teacher Ms. Sanchez. It's a pleasure to nominate Brandon Jansen for student of the month for the value of responsibility. Brandon is a true representation of responsibility. He always goes above and beyond to complete all his assignments. He puts maximum effort in all his assignments and takes great pride in all his work. Additionally, he is always one step ahead as he is never unprepared for class. Besides being so dedicated and responsible, Brandon is a very kind and well-mannered student as seen in his daily actions. Brandon, keep up with your wonderful attitude towards school and in general. Next, we have Brianna Aloy from Ms. Sanchez's class nominated by Ms. Medina. Brianna is a wonderful student. She is always prepared for class, pays attention and completes all her assignments. She is very organized and is very neat when completing her work. She is a pleasure to have in class. Congratulations, Brianna. Next, we have Ian Espino de Jesus from Ms. Vidal's class. Ian is a very responsible student. He is always prepared and ready for class. He always tries his best to complete his work on time and neatly. I am very proud of Ian. Next, we have Caleb Alvear Parales from Ms. Clemens class. Caleb comes to school every day ready to learn. He is re very responsible when completing his math home learning. He always asks for help when he does not understand a concept and enjoys sharing what he knows with his classmates. Thank you for being responsible. It is a pleasure to have you in our class. Congratulations, Caleb. Next, we have Brianna Frau from Ms. Chavez's class. Brianna is a very responsible and conscientious student. She tries her best daily and makes sure to complete every task given to her. As an MSO student, she has faced connectivity challenges. This, however, has not stopped her from being persistent in her effort to be present in class and completing all her assignments. Mrs. Chavez is very proud of her daily efforts and enjoys being her teacher. Next, we have Josue Viard from Ms. Tassie's class, nominated by Ms. Tassie, Ms. Rosnick, and Ms. Williams. Josue demonstrates immense responsibility in our MSO class. He always arrives on time, completes what is assigned to him before the deadline, and keeps himself on track. He is a true role model in our class and shows others what it means to be responsible for one's learning. Congratulations on a job well done, Josue. Next we have, and last we have, Jasmine Quintanilla, also from Ms. Tassie's class, nominated by Ms. Tassie, Ms. Rosnick, and Ms. Williams. Jasmine is always showcasing her ability to be a responsible student in MSO. She joins Zoom classes on time, completes home learning consistently, and turns in assignments with fidelity. Jasmine is a great leader in our class. Congratulations, Jasmine. And we want to say a big congratulations to all of our responsible, outstanding first, second, and third grade students of the month. Way to go. All right, to our announcements for today. Remember, today is Unity Day, so students are allowed to wear orange today, and tomorrow is our Hispanic Heritage Dress-Up Day. And don't forget that Friday is a teacher work day. It's the end of the first grading period. Our Student of the Month ceremonies conclude tomorrow with, the nominate, with showcasing our fourth and fifth grade students. Parents, there is a PTA volunteer meeting tonight at 6 p.m., and you can do it from the comfort of your own home. All you have to do is check into the Zoom meeting. You can go to our PTA website, ohes.new.memberhub.store, and you can get all of the meeting info right there. And our PTA Halloween surprise treats are next Friday. Don't miss it. Visit ohes.memberhub.store to buy your $3. And here is my Wednesday wisdom for you today, a quote by Winston Churchill. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Wishing you all a wonderful Wednesday.